So here is the book review of Homi J. Bhabha, A Life, which is authored by Bhakti R. Dada Bhoy. So it is in fact the first comprehensive full length account of India's most impactful scientist come administrator. So this topic is very, very important. The scientist is very, very important from your GS paper three perspective, where indigenous scientists are been asked in the form of questions in the mains examination. And also during essay writing, you can quote this as a classic example to show any values, to showcase any values uh, with respect to dedication, leadership, commitment, scientific temper, or you can also use it in your ethics answer as well with respect to the values concerned, right? So he was an Indian nuclear physicist. He was the founder director of Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. He played a very, very crucial role in the development of India's nuclear program. So how did he do it? What challenges did he face? due to which he is said as the epitome of dedication and commitment. And here it is an interesting fact about him that he also pioneered the transplantation of the full grown trees. He has, he had his own terrace garden. He was an early advocate of afforestation as well. Okay, so coming to the challenges, so coming to the challenges, he also faced obstacles, many obstacles in achieving his goals in his accomplishments. For example, he faced discrimination during his early education in England due to his Indian origin. But despite those challenge, he excelled in his studies because of his dedication, because of his commitment. Again, after coming to India, he had a dream. He had a vision of creating the world class research institute in India. So therefore, he struggled hard. Okay, he overcame all the obstacles needed to secure funding and support from the industrialist like J.R.D. Tata. And he established the TIFR in 1945. Again, while bringing our India's nuclear program, he was facing challenges with regard to the geopolitical dynamics, the Cold War dynamics that time. Okay, but he was able to bring the nuclear program because of his dedication, because of his leadership, because of his commitment, because of his scientific temper. He was able to reconcile the India's nuclear ambition with the international norms and concerns about the national security that time. So despite these challenges, he was able to showcase his dedication, his scientific acumen, his leadership quality, and that played a very vital role in laying the foundation of the nuclear program and establishing TIFR as a center of scientific excellence. So this is how you have to justify with respect to any values. Okay, if you're giving an example, then you have to justify that in the context of the values associated there or in context of the topics asked there. Okay, whether it is an ethics answer or an essay. 